Welcome back to a new video. In this video, we are going to talk about length chain memory. We are going to talk about why we use memory, why it's useful, and when we use it. Let's start coding. So I'm in VS Code right now. You can use any code editor that you want. It's completely up to you. You can use PyCharm, Google Colab, Spider, anything that you want. Like it doesn't matter. And how I'm going to start is I'm going to close this welcome screen. Then I'm going to create a new file such as memory length chain dot ipymb and in here I'm going to select my kernel and I'm going to start by importing warnings and I don't want to see any depreciation warnings when I'm working on length chain so I will start by filtering the warnings so I will say ignore and next I'm going to import a length chain and I'm going to show you my length chain version like this it's the length chain version that I'm using in this video. Like I can also do pip3 show length chain. And how you can install the same version with me is you can use pip install length chain equals to 0 to 12. And on Mac, th this was for Windows. Now on Mac, pip install length chain 0 to 12. By the way, it's important to have same version because with the library updates codes or codes working behind the codes can change so i'm seeing benefits on having the same length chain version if you are going to follow this tutorial with coding so we can start with memory right now let's create a markdown about it like length chain memory and now we can talk about it so memory in length chain is a feature designed to maintain the context of a conversation over time. This is particularly useful for applications like chatbots or conversational AI, where understanding and remembering past interactions can greatly enhance the quality and coherence of responses. So, when you use a memory feature in LangChain, every new interaction is added to the memory, and the system can use this accumulated context to generate more relevant and context-aware responses. Like if you say A and then like, for example, if you say A, then say, what did I say? The length chain is going to remember this A and it's going to respond to you with A. So we can start with coding right now. We are going to import from length chain memory. We are going to import conversation buffer memory. We are going to say from length chain dot chains import conversation chain and we are going to import openai from length chain large language models import open ai okay cool we are going to set our api key right now we are going to use a model from openai so we need api key when you first like sign up they give you five dollars of balance you can use that in this video or you can add balance to your api profile it's I think this video is going to cost around 30 or 40 cents. I don't think it's going to be more than that. And you can use your free $5 for this when you create account. You just need to type OpenAI API Playground to the Google and it's going to navigate you to the OpenAI API Playground website and you can create your API key for free on there. So I'm going to set mine like I will say import OS which stands for operating system and I'm going to set it as environment variable like OS environment and OpenAI API key is going to the API key that I'm going to give in here. It starts with SK, but I'm not going to give you mine. I'm going to paste mine, delete then. After that, I'm going to start recording when I run the cell. So after doing this step, we can work with OpenAI models. And now uh, my API key is ready. So we are going to continue with initializing the OpenAI large language model. For that we are going to save something like large language model and we are going to use this one over here we will say open ai and we are going to add parentheses to it for initializing also i see that my warnings are not filtered so i'm not going to reset the notebook and i'm going to make this run again and now i'm not going to get depreciation warning okay great so now we are going to set up the memory so we are going to create an instance of conversation buffer memory like memory is going to be conversation buffer memory and next we are going to create the conversation chain so this is the core component that ties together the large language model and the memory 
so this chain will process the input, store it in memory and generate responses using the large language model. So we will say conversation and it's going to be conversation chain. I'm curious if we imported that. Actually we didn't, so I'm going to fix that in here. It needs to be conversation chain like this. And now we are going to have that in here. Like we can test it like, yes, we have that. I'm going to say large language model and memory is going to be memory we have. So our chain is ready right now. Okay, let's test our memory. We can say user input and hello, please ask me a basic math question. And I'm going to say response is going to be conversation and we are going to run our chain right now after completing our setup. Now everything is ready to go. User input. Now we gave our prompt to chain and I will say response. So it says, sure, what is five plus seven? So we are going to test if it's remembering the question it asked, like we are going to say user input. And this time it's going to be, I think it is 12. Is it correct? And if it remembers what it's told us, and if it has memory, then it's going to say, yes, it's true. Let's test it out. Our new response is going to be on conversation.run, and we are going to use user input. Then we can print the response we got. Yes, it remembers. So it's working correctly and perfectly. So let's read it. Yes, that's correct. Did you know that five and seven are both prime numbers? A prime number is a number that is only divisible by one and itself. And when you add them together, you get the next prime number, which is 12. Oh, I'm not sure the information is correct on there, but as we can see, our main goal was creating a memory and it remembers what we told correctly. Like you can say, you asked, ask me a basic math question. It asked, then you say, the answer is this. And if it wasn't remembering, then it was going to say, what's 12 or something like that. Why are you saying 12? What's 12? And now when we give, I think it is 12. It says, yes, that's correct. Which means that it's remembering the conversation we have. And we can continue this conversation. Like I will say user input and it's going to be, are you sure you know prime numbers? And I will say, please define what is prime number and give the first 10 prime numbers from zero. And then I will say response is going to be conversation.run and I will give user input like this and I'm going to print the response out like this. Yes, I am sure I know prime numbers. A prime number is a positive integer that has exactly two divisors, one in itself. The first 10 prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, and 29. So this time it didn't give 12, but in here it gave 12 as prime number. So I think conversation is working perfectly and it gave prime numbers here correctly, but that was a mistake, a little bit mistake about the language model, but it doesn't matter. I already know some language models struggle on doing basic math. So it's remembering and it's working perfectly, but I want to keep testing that. So we have some stuff in the memory of our chain right now, but and I let's say that we want to start again. Like you want to talk about another thing. So I will say memory dot clear. And now it clears the memory. So it's not going to remember anything we give and we can start from zero. Like now I'm going to test out another thing like user input and it's going to be like, please give me four sentences about Turkey and tourism. Or let's say Turkey country. We can say that and I will say response is going to be conversation dot one user input and I will say print response response actually and then Turkey is a translational country that located in both Europe and Asia so 
It says it is bordered by eight countries, including Greece, Bulgaria, Georgia, Armenia, and Syria. The official language is Turkish, and the currency is the Turkish lira. The country is known for its rich history, beautiful landscapes, and delicious cuisine, including dishes like kebabs, baklava, and Turkish coffee. Okay, now I'm going to test if it's remembering its remote memory. Like, user input is going to be, please give more information on the last sentence you provide. And I'm not going to say anything about foods or turkey. And let's see if it's going to remember. Like, conversation that run, and I will give the user input inside. And I will print the response here. Sure. Turkey has a long and diverse history with influences from ancient civilizations such as Greek, Norm, and as we can see, it, yeah, okay, so it's giving the information about the food and it remembers Turkey, so it's working smoothly, but I'm going to change it. Last sentence you provide about foods, and I will say on the sentence you provide about foods, and now I'm going to test it out, like I will test it like this and I will print the new response. So maybe it didn't understand the last response clause, but it gave the information successfully and even I didn't give anything about Turkey in the previous prompt, it remembers we were talking about Turkey. So it's working perfectly. And now it's giving information about the foods of Turkey but I have no inf information about, I want information about Turkey in here. Like, I don't say anything about Turkey, but it goes about Turkey. So great, let's summarize what we did in this video. At the start, we filtered the warnings because I don't like depreciation warnings. Then I imported LangChain, I showed you my version and how you can install that. Then we talked about memory, we imported conversation buffer memory, conversation chain and OpenAI from LangChain. And then we set our API key, we initialize the large language model we have and the conversation buffer memory. Then we created our chain and tested it like using the running the chain. And then we see that it's remembering our examples. Like if I say something in the next prompt, it remembers what I said at the first place. And then we used memory.clear for remembering the Think that we can clear history of the large language model chain and we deleted its history memory then we go over another topic and we see that it's working perfectly and it's remembering what we say and what it said in the last response great that was all for this video thanks for watching thanks for watching this tutorial on langchain memory i have a playlist about ai and langchain tutorials you can check that playlist from the cards of this video. I'm sharing new data science videos every week. You can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Have a great day.